Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is morning prayer for Saturday, December the 31st. The scripture for this service, Psalm 46, and John chapter 5, verse 1 through 15, and the Canticle of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Unto us a boy is born, the King of all creation. Came he to a world forlorn, the Lord of every nation. Psalm 46. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. And so we shall not fear through the earth, though the earth should rock, and though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. Even though its waters rage and foam, and even though the mountains be shaken by its waves, our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. <clears throat> God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. God's voice roars forth and the earth shrinks away. Our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of God the Most High, the redoubtable deeds that God has done on the earth, putting to end the wars across the earth, breaking the bow and snapping the spear, burning the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. Our God of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our stronghold. Glory to you, source of all being, the eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Unto us a boy is born, the King of all creation. Came he to a world forlorn, the Lord of every nation. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Jesus heals on the Sabbath. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. And one man was there who had been ill for 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. <clears throat> and while I'm making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. And Jesus said to him, Stand up and take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? And now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. And the man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault on the day of judgment. 
for Tom, Alan, Ray, Richard, and Don, and for all of our church leaders, and for all the holy people of God. For peace in Jerusalem and in the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For all who fear God and who believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and all may be one as you and the Father are one. We pray for those in positions of public trust, our Congress, <clears throat> our President, and our judiciary system, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and the freedom of every person. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster. For the unemployed, especially Brian and Robert and Carrie. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, especially Ed, for a cure for cancer, and for all who suffer, for prisoners and refugees, especially Christian, and for all who are in danger, <clears throat> for the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. For the mercy of God community, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Don Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, William Irwin, and all the Mercy of God associates. For our enemies and for those who wish us harm and for all whom we have injured and offended. We, for all who commended themselves to our prayers, our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy and peace and health. For Margaret and Bill and John William David, and for all who died in the communion of the church, and, to those, and for those whose faith is known to you alone, that with St. Francis and St. Clair and all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief but life eternal. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Unto us a boy is born, the king of all creation. Came he to a world forlorn, the lord of every nation. The Song of Zechariah. <clears throat> Blessed are you, O God of Israel, for you have come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 
Unto us a boy is born, the King of all creation. Came he to a world forlorn, the Lord of every nation. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Merry Christmas.